Guys, let's talk about Afrobeats to an extent. You know, when I speak, some people feel that I'm talking much about the video. But in recent time, the video has actually achieved a lot, a lot in the music industry, especially with his recent Timeless album that got three nominations at the Grammys. But right now, as we speak, Burner Boy remains one of the biggest earners in Nigeria music industry, and we have to commend Burner Boy at that. I think the management of Burner Boy is doing well enough to support Burner Boy True, and this guy is getting a lot of uh, global accolades. Became the first African artist to sell out 80,000 capacity stadium in the UK twice. That is a big win for Burner Boy to an extent. That is what it is. And Burner Boy remains one of the highest earners. And in 2024, this guy has demonstrated it over and over again. What is your own take about Burner Boy becoming one of the biggest artists in Africa right now? I want you to put that in the comment section. But when you check the categories right now, I think uh, Ashake is really getting a lot of attention globally. Within a space of time, Ashaka has been able to put out albums that actually jammed uh, the charts or global charts at the time. Right now, he's been able to break Burner Boy's records. That is the most uh, songs to appear on Afrobeat Global b -board chart. That is what it is right now for Ashake. And Ashake is one of the fantastic artists that has been able to preserve you know, Afrobeat to an extent. Because when you check his style, Ashake is still preserving the African style to an extent and exporting this across Europe, US and Asia. That is a big win for Ashake. And I want a lot of people to really, really support this guy on this big train. What is your own thought about the future of Afrobeat, Nigeria? Nigeria music industry has been projected to be about 14 billion dollars by 2024 do you think nigeria is making that great mark i want you to put that in the comment section because some people are feeling that the financial institutions in nigeria and some other institutions in nigeria regulatory bodies and uh, the legal framework in nigeria needs to be put in place to an extent that is what a lot of people are really talking about and is trending out on social media what is your own take about this kind of story i want you to put out in the comment section so that you can talk about it further guys i want to use this opportunity to reach out to a lot of people upcoming artists out there you know you guys have been reaching out to me saying that you want to promote your work you know what I will do for you? You have to give me a token so that I will go live and use that same token to actually do giveaway promoting your album live on my TikTok page. And that is going to be effective on you. That is something I kind of believe because a lot of people have been reaching out to me saying that I don't want to promote them. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. They have been followers and they have been following my work to an extent. That is the opportunity I'm giving to you. You know, massively below 20,000, 25,000, I can use it to do giveaway on TikTok and then promoting your page, promoting your song, and that is going to be hitting so massive. That is something I promise you to an extent and you're going to get your money back for it. That is what I believe. Let's jump right into Afrobeat. What is your own prediction about the future of Afrobeat? A lot of people are really concerned about gatekeeping Afrobeat to an extent, saying that if care is not taken and if we don't they keep it is going to go into a session just like the reggae and uh, that is what a lot of people are really talking about at the vmas a lot of people were disappointed having the likes of usher getting you know afrobeat uh, category nominations having the likes of chris brown and a lot of others and saying where are the african brothers to an extent but based on the definition of most music artists out there i thought afrobeat was supposed to be for africans that is something i believe about the whole story in 2024 grammy nominations a lot of people are rooting for the likes of ashake the likes of her uh, you know burner boy the likes of uh, rema the likes of Ariel Star, Thames, and Davido. And also, I think a person of Tyler is getting a spot at that nomination. What is your own thought about that? Don't forget to put that in the comment section. What you feel about the story so far? Let's get into Afrobeat proper. 
Yes, Afrobeat has evolved over time. A lot of people are now reaping the labors of heroes past. The likes of Fela and Nicola Pugotti, uh, you know, uh, moving it forward to the likes of Two Faced Dibia and a lot of other the new Afrobeat artists. I think uh, right now we should call Burner Boy, the video and Whiskey also opening international doors. A Rema also supported that to an extent. And that is why Rema is claiming a big four spot at a time. But a lot of people are saying that Rema not reached big four. What about the likes of Ashake? What about the likes of, uh, you know, Omale and a lot of others? But to an extent, statistically, Rema has actually done massive numbers and we have to respect that to an extent. That is something I believe about the whole story that is trending out on social media. Yes, massively, I did an interview of Rema's uh, uncle and a lot of people were not really happy with me saying that this uncle for not define Rema if he never hammered to an extent. But I got to understand that, yes, you know, to an extent, you get to forgive a lot of people even when they have hurt you in the past. Why you are doing that? It's not because of them. You are doing it because of you to an extent. And I also understand that Rema has really, really actually conquered the music industry. And also, he needs to preserve the Ikubo's heritage. That is something I got to understand because Rema's father is from Ibanke. Unlike what is being speculated on social media that Rema is from Benin. That is what I'm really sharing with you guys on this. And a lot of people are now calling back Rema home to say, we are with you. But you need to honor your father to an extent. Your late father, you need to honor him to an extent. Because this your late father actually did something big by giving birth to you. And that is a big win, a big one for Rema at the time. I'm not really progressing in that direction based on the attacks I've been getting from a lot of people. But I promise to bring something to you about that and I hope Rema sees it someday. But I'm not trying to like inspire hate within the family. I'm trying to like move for reconciliation because I can't put everything that this man said about Rema and uh, about a lot of people in the family put it out on social media or if i do that i'm gonna be like putting a lot of a lot of enmities on that i have a lot of people reaching out to me on this i even have a picture of Redman's father but i'm not going to put it out on social media so that uh, it will be settled within the family. So that is something I got to understand. But all the same, we need to support Rema at this. What is your own take about all of this story? I want you to put that in the comment section. Before I jump off, I want to say thank you guys for watching our videos and thank you for the love so far. If you are new here, you can click the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos. I love you guys. Keep supporting Afrobeat blog across social media platforms.